Hey everyone, welcome back to this new video. So today we are going to take a look at the art of Vanja. This person is a follower of mine and they sent me one of their characters. So we are going to take a look at it right now. So first of all, what I like about it are the proportions. I think they are interesting with the very small head for the character here and the big, uh, the big belly here. I think the pose is a bit stiff. Would have been more interesting maybe if he was hunched over. Not it's it's really very straight, very rigid. I think it would have been more interesting if he was really hunched over, maybe struggling uh, to lift his weapon, feeling that he has a lot of weight, you know. So I'm not going to do that here, but I think. Well, maybe I'm going to try it very quickly. I think maybe if the head, I'm going to do a messy job here. I know, but maybe it would have been interesting to have it a bit like Hulk, you know. So maybe something a bit like this pose, like, you know, a bit hunched over, like the the head is not on, really on top of the um, the body, but it's more like in the, the trapezius and it has a lot of, of mass. So that would have been very interesting. So that's what I'm trying to do here, but <laughs> not working that much. So something like this would have been interesting, I think. Um, I see some problems in the volumes of the, the armor here. I, I feel that you wanted to do something that's in it, that's rounded. Uh, it's not really following the perspective that really just, it should have been just turning around the volume of the arm here, so this way. And think about the, the function of your armor, because it's cool to add a piece here, but how does it work really? How does the arm bend after? Because I feel like it's not the best place there to put an armor plate like this, but you could have done a better design with it. I feel like you could have emphasized the silhouette a lot more. So maybe making the shoulder pads just way bigger. I like the fact that you have recurring elements like this, these things there that are all over the design, but this feels like it's really too close to the body. It could have been just bigger, you know. I like this big element here, but you could have designed it a little bit better, maybe doing some ornaments, some more details to it. Just something, just small, small stuff here that are following the design maybe that you already have here, you know? I feel like overall, like the design of your character is just a big rectangle. Could have been more interesting. I'm just gonna see what I can do without destroying it too much. Because I know your idea that you want to have it having a big belly, I understand that, but we could have emphasized it just a lot more. Of course the Lutrify is destroying the, the structure of the, the image, but it's just to, to get my point. You know, something like this would have been more interesting, I feel. The arm here feels weirdly placed. You could have had a more interesting way of him to holding his weapon, because now the arms are really straight along the body, which is not doesn't add a lot of interesting informations to the character and I feel like the weapon is like really horizontal. Maybe you could have gone for having the, the weapon at least like this. The arm then would have been like a bit folded, going a bit backwards and then going forward. So I think that would have been more interesting. I like here the little coins but they are all the same size. You could have had some that were smaller and some that were bigger, just to have some variety. But other than that, I think the design is pretty interesting. You could work more and improve on the definition of the materials, because now I understand that you wanted to make it look like it's gold, I think. It's not bad, because I understand that it's gold, but it's still an idea of gold and it's not really gold itself. So try to push the reflections a lot more, try to push the volumes a lot more, changes in the colors too, in the hues. Don't hesitate to go and see my tutorial on how to paint gold. Try to have a really clear source of lighting too, you have one. I understand that you have a main light that's coming from here and then a rim light here, which that is very good. But I feel that like for some pieces, for some planes here, you didn't go all the way with the lighting. This should feel like it's a lot more in the shadows with a stronger uh, cast shadow from the, the shoulder pad here. You could have a stronger highlight. So yeah, I think this already makes the, the character much more interesting. It was a good job before, I liked it, but you could push it more and have more interesting shapes and have it just been more flowy because right now it's really rigid, it's really stiff and 
now it, it has a lot more it's, it has a more varied uh, silhouettes and it feels a little bit more alive so yeah but otherwise i think it's a pretty good job and if this was helpful for you and if you would like some feedback or a paint over on one of your image or even your whole portfolio just send it to me on the the email address that's down below in the description and if i like it i will put it on the, the list and when i have time to do a new video like this one i will do it with pleasure and i hope this helped you so i'll see you in the next video bye